that you're doing each week, we're gonna introduce supersets now. Supersets are awesome, especially for body weight and home workouts, in essence of getting that heart rate up and really then focusing on active recovery. So work hard for the reps you need to, and then take that rest, really try to get that heart rate to go up and down to get the most from this workout. So we're gonna start out first with push-ups, or sorry, shoulder tap push-ups. So, Remember our push-up position, shoulders over elbows and wrists, nice and strong through that plank. Our hips and butt are up here, pushing back. We're down, we're level, come down through that push-up, up, then tap, tap, down. Alternate, other side, tap, tap, right, left, push-up, left, right. If you need to, for an option, do it from your knees, down. Left, right, down, right, left. Continue to watch that form. Keep the elbows back, push through triceps and chest. All right, 10 of those, then we're gonna go right into plyometric push-ups. So, from that push-up position, come all the way down, and as much as you can, bringing those hands off the ground, if you need to, from your knees, try it, or always just through the push-up and strong, as strong as you can, all the way up. Practice those hands-off push-ups at the bottom if you need to. Ten of those. From there, we're gonna go to our back. On our back, we're gonna have some dumbbells here for light weights that you have in home. You're gonna hinge at your waist. So when we hinge at the waist, make sure we're not rounding that spine drooping. Think about suck the belly underneath you, shoulder blades back, head out in front of you. We're gonna do a back fly. Squeeze through the back and shoulders. We got 10 of these. If you're feeling weight through your low back, you're doing it wrong, think about getting that load in your legs. If you need to, come up slightly, but not too much. After you get through 10 of those, we're gonna take it to the ground, and we have piston rows. So you can do this from just the ground, elbows in tight, piston it up to the sky if you want, or knee regression, knees to the ground, or more advanced, add weight. You got 10 per side. So 20 total on your piston rows. That's superset two. We're gonna take it in superset three, focusing on our shoulders. You're gonna have first a standard shoulder press. So I like to do it for my knees, it's more core challenging, but you can always do it from your feet. Bring the weights up. Keep those elbows facing forward for about 45 degrees. Not all the way out to 90 for me. Let's stay in, press. Keep the posture good, shoulders, over hips. That's why I like to do it for my knees because it really challenges me more there. So you're not getting that arch through your low back. You're gonna do 10 of those. If you need an option, one foot forward and just do a single side or reduce that weight. All right, 10 of those. And then you're gonna take it right to the front for a pulse uppercut. So weights around front of you, try not to arch too much, try to stay up straight and just punch to the sky. Not a full extension, just lifting through that thoracic spine, the scapula, the upper back, punch it to the sky. 10 of those. You'll take your rest, as recommended, 30 seconds between, and then get, your, uh, sorry, get as many rounds in as you can in 20 minutes. We'll see you for workout two tomorrow.